Today I have some excellent news for anyone who is trying to find their first secret token for the riddle of rumination. Probably amongst the top worst parts of an achievement in the history of achievements. But let's get into how you can actually find it. So as of just like yesterday, because I tried this a couple of days ago and it wasn't updated. But very recently, they just found all of the secret tokens. One of the people that was doing the interactive maps. And now it actually has descriptions for most... Well, descriptions for all of them and pictures for all the harder ones to find. Like, I literally ran around and mine initially wasn't on the first 190 found. So, I couldn't get mine. In all of 10 minutes, I just got mine. Now, I'm going to have the map in the description, but I want to confirm even further how you can very, very easily find this fast. So, there is about a 90% probability, unless you know for sure that you got it late, that either yours is one of the very easy ones in Vernif, or it's somewhere between here and Vernif. So that means you really only have to look at about 60 locations. And if you have a good idea, if you just split off right away, then you can narrow that down even further. But let's narrow it down even further than that. So there is a perk on the Trickster, which allows you to hear nearby uh, secret tokens and wake stones called detection i believe you have to get to rank four on the trickster which isn't that bad to unlock detection now this actually has a huge radius so actually let's say um the one is the token i could actually be like all the way over here and the sound will start and it's an okay sound if you're listening through tv but if you got a headset on even a decent headset you can 100% hear it and kind of tell which direction to go as well. It also lights up in the dark, making it at night so easy to see. So what you're going to do is before you even go and go for your secret token, the one that you actually need for the Sphinx, what you're going to do is you're going to go around this area and go all the way through here. And go get all the secret tokens. And this way you don't have to worry about those. Because if you can get them. Then you haven't got them yet. Next what you're going to do. Is get ready to get your challenge done. So now you're going to save your game. And now you can go use the map. And go one by one on the locations. You can very easily tell. If you have one there. By detection. So. If your sound goes off, it's one of two things. Either you missed it earlier in your initial sweep, or there is your finder's token. And there you have it. That is how you actually find your finder's token fairly easily. It took me all of 10 minutes after actually clearing it out on the last time where I couldn't find it because mine wasn't on the map. And you can go get all the secret tokens very easily with that map. Get as many as you want to. Like this is not just to get. The strategy was to get your father's token. But you can go use that map to get literally everything. All your beetles. All your father tokens. Everything. It's a really, really, really good map. If you like the video, leave a like, comment, share. It helps others find the video. I hope this helped.